Good evening. Right, so last night I spent the night in the new van. Totally unprepared. Um, didn't really bring anything with me that I needed. <laughs> it was just a bit of a novelty. I wanted to drive the van. So I went for a drive and ended up staying in it. The bed's comfortable. I bought a new mattress uh, for it. Took my bedding out of the van. Um, as you can see though, it's just full of tools and dogs. So I've got a lot of work to do. But today is hopefully paint day. Uh, I've got some a lot of sanding to do. Uh, and somewhere in here is five litres of paint. I think five litres might be enough. But if not, I've got a plan of where I'm going to start. Uh, and what my, my priorities are, but the, I think my priority is the um, the back, and then I'll paint the the front, the Land Rover bit. I'll paint that uh, last. Uh, I take some more time with that because there's bits I need to take off and paint black and all that kind of thing. So mainly get all this thing one colour, and that's it. Oh, there's my alarm. It's nine minutes past eight. Uh, I'll see you soon. I'll bring you along for the paint journey. I'm over to I'm over. I'm going over to Darren's to do it, so should work out good. So this is a bit quickly before I go off to do paint. You've all seen this view a thousand times, but not from this, not from this van. Are you ready? Right, enough messing around. I need to go get some coffee because I've got no way of making coffee in here because the gas bottle's empty. Go get some coffee, go get to Darren's, go give him a cuddle. Probably won't give him a cuddle, but I've got to be nice to him because he's going to be painting my van with me today. Nice! Dark enough, isn't it? Oh, that's wicked. Actually shoots this down to the ground, mate. Will do, won't it? What are you on with, Darren? Oh, I have to move around because sun's there. What am I on with? Yeah, what are you doing? I'm taping up your lights because we're going to do some painting, pal. Hopefully. Well, we Hopefully. are. We are going to do. I'm going to say, it's going on. It's happening. Yeah? Right. So, these bits here. It's all been fiberglassed because uh, it's a fiberglass body and the previous owner chucked a load of filler on it to smooth off the uh, fiberglass but then it's been left and there's too much on there so now it's a mess so basically I'm grinding that down today because seriously it needs grinding off is that much of it grinding that off today Darren's um, starting paint on the back so that hopefully by the time he gets around this side I'll done and maybe onto that side hopefully that's the plan but it is taking a lot like I'm going through going through batteries on grinder like you'll never know because it's it's a lot of filler a lot um, but it's already looking better uh, obviously it looks shit now but you just have to trust me that so if I put a coat of paint on that now it'd look a thousand times better um, I do however have stuff in my eyes and I am sanding down filler and fiberglass so potentially got fiberglass in my eyes what would one of my videos be without a trip to hospital? What do you think? Is it going on alright? Perfect mate, perfect. Woke up this morning, I thought what we're going to do today? Let's yeah. paint a big old van. You can't really see, but my job is to smooth this off. Now I'm not going to get that dead smooth, I'm never going to try and get dead smooth. But I want to get it looking something decent so I can put paint on it. I get it all one colour and then 
I can touch bits up afterwards. I can stick a bit of filler here and there and paint over it with the NATO paint. But all I want is for it to not look like it. I don't want it to look like the police should pull it over. You know what I mean? <laughs> all I want it to be one colour. That's it. And then I'll be happy. Well, Darren's done a top job on the back here. So that's what we're going to be looking like. Proper Land Rover Army Green. Darren's currently helping with sanding, so we need the sanding doing. We've also started to put a bit of paint on this side here just to, so you can see what it's going to look like. Uh, and that's just going to cover up a lot of crap, really. This is only a temporary thing, um, but we're going to try and get as much paint on as I can, and then eventually I can just attack it one panel at a time. But there we are. So we have a lot of green coverage now. It's all one colour. So the plan is hopefully just to get the back done as soon as possible. At least two coats. It's covering well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's amazing. Covering good. Come back good here, you can see all. Uh, obviously it's still shiny because it's still wet but once that uh, once it dries it's matters out and then uh, I'll I'd say have a look at back but I back's had another coat hasn't it? Just had a second coat so back's just had a second coat and as you can see it looks good. Uh, and then there's the grey on this side we've not done yet. <sighs> it's took its toll on me today, sanding and uh, all that. What are you Eat saying? In. You happy? I'm happy, are you happy? Yeah. I'll stand back, I'll stand back. The back is done. It's now all one colour. Most of the filler is off. It's a bit rough in places, I'm not gonna lie. But that just gives me, I can sand that down after with a finer grit and all that and get it a bit neater and fill some of the little holes and that green uh, when I've got some free time I'll be painting this bit and then painting some of the black bits back that should be black I don't know why that's grey but that should be black they are painting that black this checker plate's gonna come off black um, and then the rest of it green and once it's all one colour I think it'll look a thousand times better what do you think? oh definitely definitely your slap head's looking good. Slap head's looking better, isn't it? Like, mm. it's, look at that. It's looking better. There's a few bits again that need touching up, little holes that need filling, but for the most part, they can all be done at any time. Uh, I'm more happy that the amount of progress we've done in one day than worried about things that we've not quite done or need finishing. What's this wee thing? Because, because. We're a team now, aren't we? You, you, you did some, yeah, you showed up, yeah. <laughs> Darren did all the high up work on the ladder for the most part, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and the entire back. You did the entire back on your own. Yeah, but you did all the sanding, now that would have been... I'm not Why is there so many red bull boxes out there? <sighs> the sanding was hard work, everything is covered in dust. The driveway is a completely different colour than what it was when I got here. My air is a completely different colour. No, no, it's natural. Stop <laughs> playing. Anyway, we're going to leave that for now. Yep, done. And then we're going to crack on with... We're going to get showered together. Always. Uh, anyway, right. Right, so it's second day of painting. Um, I'm now going to paint the front. The weather is looking good, although it armoured it down yesterday, so maybe expecting rain in this afternoon. Uh, going to get all the black parts off such as the grills the lights around and all that kind of stuff I'm gonna strip all that off first and then paint green and then paint all the stuff black again and then put it all back together and hopefully it'll all look bonza <sighs> bought a new rear step because it doesn't currently have one so that's gonna fit hopefully onto the tow bar bracket to help me be able to get in uh, I have just paint give these a first coat uh, just wait for them to dry uh, and I'm going to paint some other bits so the front end is stripped off pretty much I'll give that 
bull bar a paint before I start painting the green and I can paint over the overspray. That's one full can to paint the grill and all the bumper. I think you'll agree, it already looks better. Getting these bits off took way, way longer than it should have done. I'm gonna clean them up and paint them black though. I'm gonna say clean them up, I'm probably just gonna paint them black. So it's all painted just about, I need to do the bonnet but I can't get the spare wheel off but if you look at the contrast in the new black and the new green, it's already looking a thousand times better. My battery's about to go so I need to go charge it up but I'll get it all back together and I'll show you then. The front grill is all back together now and the black and the green contrast looks amazing and now I'm just putting the rivets back in, uh, we'll put a new rivet in, put this back on. <laughs> it's getting there, I'm almost done on the outside. And that's that. I'm sure that you can agree it looks a thousand times better. <clears throat> so a big thanks to Darren and his family yet again for coming to the rescue and letting me use their driveway and obviously Darren for helping as well. Um, but that is that stage of this build done. The outside is done. Uh, now it's time to move on to the next part. So I've already started stripping out the back and doing some bits in there. Um, but I've got some suspension issues. Well, not issues. I've got some suspension issues in my head that I want to sort in. Uh, so I've ordered a two inch lift kit, <coughs> heavy duty springs, heavy duty shocks. It's getting lifted up two inches. It should make it more stable because it's much stiffer. Uh, although it's raising the center of gravity, which is kind of counterproductive, but you know what I'm saying? It's just one of those things. We're gonna go do that. <laughs> We're gonna go do that gonna go get the suspension lifted up uh, and also sort out some other bits and bobs anyway thanks a lot and i'll see you soon love you bye